All right, man, let's back it up, girl. Let's start this thing. Sit down. Let's start. Mira, sit down. Let's start. Let's start. Mira, let's sit down. How about that? All right, hold on. This needs to be a little bit taller. Hey, we gotta do the thing. We got to do the thing. We got to do. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Not our channel, my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna talk about her gray and purple. Mira, can I talk? Where's the, the? No, this is my story. So I talk. <coughs> so hey guys, we're gonna go right back in the. Mira. Ooh. Alright guys, before I begin, I'm going to go ahead and put a t-shirt around Kimmy's shoulders so that I don't have the hair paint all over her shoulders and her uh, outfit. So now I'm just re-wetting Kimmy's hair because it got a little dry. So now I'm just sectioning her hair so that I can get it prepared for putting the products and also the hair color wax. Now the first product I'm applying to Kimira's hair is this Kinky Curly Not Today Detangler and Leave-In. I pretty much just rake my fingers through her hair to apply the product all over her hair. And then I'm following it up with the Bounce Curl Light like Cream Gel and I like this product because it's super light in her hair and I just like how her hair turns out once it dries. So once I apply the products, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Denman brush and I'm just going to go through her hair because I feel like this defines her curls a lot more than just doing it without it. Now it's time for the fun part and I'm just using the color wax from Mofa Jang. I think I'm saying that right and I'm using the color purple because Kimira she loves the color purple I guess she wanted to be a part of like you know the descendants I think the character is named Mao she wanted to have the same color hair as her so we're going in with the purple and this is actually pretty thick and this is my first time actually using this hair wax, so I've never done it before. So, you know, it's trial and error when you first use it. But I'm just applying the wax all over her hair, like so, as you guys can see. Um, I did notice that it does take some time for the color to actually penetrate into the hair. I had to, I feel like I had to use a lot more than what I expected. And I literally just went in with my hands. I didn't even think to wear gloves. I just felt like I could easily wash it off, which you easily could. Um, so there's no harm in using just your hands. Also, the smell of this wax, it smells like men's aftershave. Um, that strong cologne smell, that's what this smell reminds me of. I could be wrong, but that's the, that's the you know, the smell vibes I was getting. <laughs> So now I'm just shaping Chimera's curls because I see some areas where Chimera's curls can be, you know, formed. So I'm just using my fingers and I'm just curling her hair. And then I'm just repeating the same process with adding water and then putting, applying the products and then using the color wax. I could have styled her hair first prior to using the color, but I felt like sectioning it first and then applying the products and then the color, like how I'm doing it was a little bit better because I'm already sectioning it putting product so might as well just go ahead and put the color in it you know
So when it comes to the top of Camille's hair, I could have used a lot less wax. As you guys can see, it looks like, oh my gosh, you're using too much, girl. Slow down. But I felt like I had to put a lot more in the roots, but then I learned from trial and error <laughs> that you shouldn't really put too much at the top, especially putting it on the scalp. Um, I thought this was actual, you know, I just realized we're not washing it out like normal hair color. You're leaving it in. So next time I know better and not to touch the scalp area, just the hair parts because her scalp wouldn't be purple. You know what I mean? But if you guys ever tried to do this on your kid's hair or your hair, do not put the color in your scalp. I also got a little nervous because some of the color went on Kimira's skin. Kimira's, like, Kimira's skin is extra sensitive. So I was scared she was going to break out. But it didn't, so... Now I'm using a diffuser and I'm focusing at the roots because I want it to dry a little bit faster than just doing a normal air dry. So I'm just moving this throughout her whole entire hair. But this purple is so nice. It is coming through in Kamira's hair. <laughs> So now I'm just diffusing the ends of her hair and finishing up the drying process. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the final result of Kimura's purple hair. She felt like the character from The Descendants, Maleficent's daughter. She loved the color and she loved how it turned out. She was like, thank you mommy for coloring my hair purple. I was like, girl. I'm next. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have kids and you've always been wondering like whether it's safe for their hair, it is 100% safe. You can wash this off for their next wash day. You don't have to worry about it damaging their hair. Their hair goes back to normal. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye guys. Bye.